Hey great guys, Trophy React here. Um, let's bring the mic a bit closer for you guys. Uh, here we are with episode two of The Boys season four. Really enjoyed the first episode actually. I think we kind of spread out amongst all the characters pretty well. Homelander was really great in the first episode. Butcher was great, kind of a lot going on with him. Um, not so much into Huey and French's stuff at the moment, but we are only, like I said, one episode, so I think it's hopefully uh, leading to more, but we'll see. So episode two, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like as it does help the video and it does help the channel. Subscribe if you're new, as of course we've got plenty of the boys to come over the next month and a half-ish. We have Bridgerton that was just released, I'll be getting all of that up by the end of the weekend. Pretty Liars Summer School finale next week, then we've got House of the Dragon and Smiling Friends on Monday. And then the week after that we've got The Bear Season 3, so... So many shows, so many shows coming out, but episode two of season four, guys. Let's do this. I swear that is just where they shot the wire. <laughs> Same sofa, probably. Is this a flashback? No. What's the music? Why is, why is Will Ferrell here? <laughs> why? Why? Why not, though, honestly? Thought you were too sick to practice. Done with all that, coach. <laughs> When was the last time you had a decent meal? I like Will Ferrell. He has some shit films for sure, but he's he's good. You're the most talented superhero I've ever seen. Yet you're you're throwing it all away, slinging yayo for gangbangers. Is this like a film or something that he's doing? Either outrun this life, or you can run yourself into an early grave. <laughs> now please, it's me, uh... Coach Brink. Come back with me <laughs> to the suburbs. <laughs> oh. I'll never be free of these streets. Cut! Holy yeah. fuck! Holy fuck! We're not gonna beat that. That. Uh, that was amazing. Feral fucking streep. Feral streep. Not giving off too much of a blindside vibe, am I? As if that's a bad. No, no, no. Wait, what is that smell? <laughs> well, everyone, We're stop! What is that smell? This is just. Please tell me this is where they just shot the wire. It looks exactly the same. I smell an Oscar nomination. Oh, okay. An Oscar nom for that. The scene sings. All right, look at me. In the art Training age train. Swoops in and saves me from the ghetto. No, 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 no. You actually save each other. It's a very balanced narrative. All the sensitivity readers that we hired, they all agreed. Let's see these sensitivity writers. You said what I want doesn't matter. But as scripted, it's actually what I want don't matter. Okay. okay? Yeah, okay. I think it, it's like the same... Uh, I don't know, I'll get too caught up in it. Black Noir has been a meaningful challenge, but yesterday was whack as fuck. Hearing Black Noir talk, or Black Noir 2 talk, is strange. These two animals, Benny Long and Ian Rashford, savagely beat three good men to death outside the courthouse yesterday. Where'd you pick those two from? Like, why those two? Were they even there? Acid for deep moisturizing and arginine. For what is all that? Food. If his mum isn't played by Olivia Cook, it's not. Okay. Right. Olivia Cook, I meant... Olivia Coleman. I don't know why Olivia Cook came. Well, Olivia Cook's all over my timeline, so that's probably why. But you look good. Got tall. Yeah, that adds up. Since the last time you saw me, I was six fucking years old. Okay. Damn. Quite a while ago. He doesn't need you. Neither of us do. Your dad didn't tell you. <sighs> I've been here all along, Huey. But what? He gave me power of attorney. Including medical decisions, uh, and he signed the DNR. Why the fuck would he give you power of attorney over me? Well, I mean, we've been talking the last year or two. Year or two? We forgot to mention that, didn't we? I, I, I can handle this. I don't know. I promise. Seems like you abandoned Huey at six, so you probably can't handle much, but, but thanks. But to be fair, the boys might have a different reason, but if the reason is I wasn't prepared to be a mom. <laughs> it's like, okay, I just wasn't ready. I knew, I knew me being in your life would be bad for you. <laughs> oh. You got your phone in your hand or when it paint? What the hell? That just appeared. I'm assuming Colin's gonna die or something. Like, I don't, what is this? Random storyline. Maybe it's their way of trying to be like, we didn't want just Frenchie and Kamiko to kind of do the same thing, but I, I don't mind. I felt like we kind of did that in season three where Frenchie was doing a lot of his own thing. Why don't we start with something simple? Tell me about your parents. Oh, or not. Oh! Just telling us now. Have you seen any specialists? Have you, uh, have you, um... How long you got? 
Oh, he told him. Fucking business. Got an angel on my shoulder, and she's a right bloody nag. Roger, I tried <laughs> to warn you that that shit was poison. You ain't one of us. Hey. All right. Really? <laughs> After everything. You're done. You what? Buy it. Grab your shit and get the fuck out. I'll level with you lot, and this is a thanks I get. What the fuck have you been lying to us for the last six months? Not telling ain't lying. Sure. Sure. <laughs> now grab your shit and get the fuck out. Or I'll throw you out. <laughs> I love that man. Small town kid grows up on a Montana ranch with his mom. These two. God, so. I do love these two though. <laughs> they are funny. And one day that question is answered. When Homelander flies down from the sky uh -huh. and says... With tears in his eyes, so and says, <laughs> "Son, it's time for you to take your place by my side." That's all. Oh, that is. God, I see the poster. He came from greatness. Homeboy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, wow. Oh, buddy, can you believe that? Yeah, that's that's real cool. What do you think? I think it looks amazing. Oh, so amazing. Really marketable. So marketable. The whole page yeah. blows. Oh, damn. It does not blow. It blows. Harder than Nancy Reagan on the MGM backlog. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but a line delivery was on point. I like Sage, is interesting. Is the first natural born superhero, and his brand needs to reflect that. He's not one of Lot's lab rat freaks. He was chosen. Oh. Hey, God, whatever. That's gonna stay. The one who saves the world. Let's not forget why he is special, shall we? He's my son. Because he's your son, he's yes. Son yes. Sure, but, uh. <laughs> The Chosen One narrative only works if he stands alone. Harry Potter, Neo, Luke Skywalker. She Hollywood got points. Train people to fall in love with white boy lone savior. <laughs> Not on the call sheet. You wanted a kingdom for your son. I'm helping you get it. I wonder her backstory though. Was because she seems to like not care about. Murder for starters, or maybe she's just playing it like she knows, like her saying, like trying not to have a part in it would just get her killed. They said she's the smartest thing in the world, so maybe she has something else planned. Listen, I know you're the smartest woman on earth, smartest person. <laughs> Let me give you some advice you know, girls supporting girls. Sure, you cannot talk to Homelander like that. I'm telling you the truth, you're so afraid of him, you plucked yourself bald. If I were you, I'd make myself useful and then get some lactation going and let him suck on those titties before you end up like Madeline Stillwell. Damn. Wait, that's the conversation we're having? Oh, Ashley, hey, what's up? Oh, the deep. <sighs> Just the girl boss I wanted to see. <laughs> God's sake, man. His first solo save. I want to talk to you about something. I have this idea. <clears throat> okay, so what if, and just hear me out on this, what if Yep. I was there? What? I want to save. You want to join a family-friendly PG save? While PETA still has you on their bestiality watch list? Yeah, well, that's... Oh, they, they're smart. Make me want to eat my own shit. Why do you let her talk to you like that? She's just a bitch. It's probably that time of the month. Yeah, it's <laughs> God's sake. Genetically superior being, and she's the evolutionary equivalent of a capybara. Capuchino. It's a Cappuccino. <laughs> it's a good idea. Thank you. Oh, she knows what she's doing. Like, why is she giving him that like confidence? Like, what she... mm. there's gonna be so much to Sage. I feel smartest person on the planet. I've already tapped Sage's cell phones. She made a reservation at the Vod Garden Suites and Courtyard Express in Harrisburg tonight. You two are with me. Oh look, she made a cute little penis and balls. Mm. Talent at its finest. <laughs> Hurry up, get the money! Oh hell yeah. Lights <laughs> out, you fucking muff taco. <laughs> I would watch a film with the deep in though. What are we supposed to do? Wow. Let her go. Out of my way, kid. Is that just some guy in a wig? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. I just want to double check. Who are you? My name is Ryan. He's gonna actually break his arm, isn't he? Okay. It's good. I don't know. Fair enough. If that was home, we would have just killed him. I feel like it's more in character if I come into you this guy. Fucking talk. Sorry. Still talking. Let's just stick to the blocking for now, okay? Mm. Deep. Drop the fucking muff taco. It's for families. Okay. <laughs> On the day, you're gonna throw me for real. 
I can take it. Mm, we'll say. Of course, some of them are real. I've, I've saved a lot of people. Well, this is just to help you get your sea legs, right? Okay. Oh, I thought they were doing like a film thing. So this is his actual save. Just to be clear, we're not actually killing people in the day, am I right? Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> He's gonna try and back talk, you know. I'm the I'm the peak of human evolution and you're just you're just a Capabarnia. Okay, close it's enough. From South America. Oh, so you're fucking land mammals now. Capabarnia. <laughs> I am the Lord of the Seven Seas. You talk to me like that again, and I will drown you in your fucking toilet, you stupid bitch. Oh, I right, mate. I've used it. After you've used it, wow, very specific. What you want? No. Sir! <laughs> no, sir. That's right. Well, didn't, wasn't he married? Or did that end? I can't remember. Oh. Out of my way, kid. That kid's face is made for the big screen. Complexion like butter. He's practically glowing. Oh, thank God. You're brushing the wrinkles out of the Dawn of the Seven, put VFX 9. Oh, mate. From neck fold to neck fold with Sex in the City, too. <laughs> the wrinkles, Homelander. He's so good. Again, I will reiterate, every time I watch The Boys, if you have not watched Banshee, watch Banshee. He's in Banshee, the main character. He's so good. Oi, oi. Fancy some steamed tray eggs? Where the fuck did you find us? I actually do, actually. And as a private and concerned citizen, I'm allowed to say fuck you to any deep state cunts trying to keep me from the truth. You hooked up with Jeffrey Dean Morgan then, that means I assume. Truth con. Oh, conspiracy theory con. Stormfront is alive. Interesting. Starlight is murdering us. Nope. People really dedicate their lives to just this shit. Oh, Kamiko flashback. That was her brother, wasn't it? I think in season one, two, season two. I can't remember. Yeah, why is Sage here? That is a good point. All of the same. Are they triplets? What? Oh, there's someone, there's someone. No, okay. I thought like they would like the actors were triplets, but that's just some one guy. Am I too shiny? You're good. You're perfect. Yeah, all right, mate. Drool some more. Every Starlight and the Hollywood pedophile was. <laughs> okay. Visionary. She's also my close friend. Cabal. <laughs> Please join me. Starlight is a peed. I just seen his shirt, man. Okay. Firecracker. Yeah, fire. She was in that one, wasn't she? Not, me, not now. They're killing us. Wake up. Wake up, sheeple. Prove that Starlight works with Oprah and Tom Hanks to set up a satanic home delivery service. Oh, sounds believable. Yeah, she's drunk. <laughs> she's drunk. All of the Tom Hanks movies, you get 311, which is the police code for child porn. It's just mad. Wait, all the films you get with Tom Hanks. So what about when he does a film next month? And it's 312, then what? What kind of logic? Oh, people, some people, man. They do actually believe that stuff, though. Hey, look at your messages in a bit. Hey, stop. No, give it back. Okay. Drunk Kamiko. Love it. Are you drunk? <laughs> yeah, got you there. Well, now, was that just done? Don't open the door. It's going to be something gross. Just don't even open the door. He's. Yeah, I'm with Kamiko, just don't. Yep, here we go. What is it? Someone crawling into someone else's guy's dick. Oh, no, it's just someone wanking off. Okay, that's pretty normal, actually. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, it's so too soon. This isn't what it looks like. Yeah, well... Oh, okay. mate. 
God's sake. <laughs> I really thought for a second it was just some guy wanking off, and that was it. Nothing to do there except uh, relive my childhood trauma. Now, relive my childhood trauma? Okay, Huey. <sighs> she's just, she's a symbol of so much bad shit, and I, I can't, I can't, I won't. It's just, it's... That's fair. I got both their points for that, to be fair. Ran across the Rockies, took out the terrorists, disarmed the bomb. Then what? What you mean, man? Then I got some popcorn, I watched the rest of Pacific Rim Uprising. Pacific Rim Uprising? Oh, this guy. Hey, Uncle Reggie was just telling us about his saves. You want to tell him or should I? Come on, man. Let's not make a big thing. That movie theater in Idaho? That was a sound stage in the Bronx. Um, that terrorist? Um, that was a stunt, man. Those mountains? Get it cold out. It's complicated, you know? No, it's simple. Your saves were never real. You never actually saved anyone. Surely he saved one person. <laughs> Just one. Nathan, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. See that my entire family had been brainwashed by clover genders like Starlight. I told them that I couldn't speak to them again until they did their own research. Mm. It's been three years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your research is her podcast. Interesting. Do you actually believe all of this? Or is it just bullshit? Smeared on top of a personal vendetta. Ain't you a little mouthy one? Appreciate the subtextual racism there. <laughs> Sister Sage, I work with Homelander. Bullshit. God damn, is he here? Of course not. I mean, AI exists now, you could just go down that road for him. Chance, you could meet him. First, I want to see your powers, though. Oh yeah, what is a power? What the hell? Wow! That's such a dead power, oh my god. How much would you rather believe that you belong to a community of warriors battling a secret evil, or that you're a lonely, inconsequential nobody that no one will ever remember? So. Deep's Blue Sea Room, 9 p.m. So Sage is scouting for more members, I guess? Why her, though? I, I guess because she can rally people. I bet it sucks. That's the only way you feel any regret is to get it beaten into you. You're a shit skipper, you are. Huey's fucked off. Kamiko's hammered. We've been here for hours and still no fuck all. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get this bloody lot killed. It's because no one listens. I guess which is part of the problem. <laughs> At least they listen to Butcher. But that don't lie, actually, they did not. Go work. Yeah, ain't that what your wife said? Oh, there you go. Damn. The four punch combo. She's still drinking. You're dead, mate. Don't even bother, you're dead. Yep. Oh. You survived. Yeah, not here. You're resting, Fleet Fade. Yeah, it took you long enough to get here from Trenton. Traffic, am I right? Oh, you knew that was stalking. Do you? The eyes. It's always the eyes. Here. <laughs> that is all she does, isn't it? She just goes, and that's like the same thing she does all the time. You could have gotten my face in front of my family, but you didn't. Let's call it a thank you. Thank you, Ian. I would have blasted the shit out of you, and you would have deserved it. But then you would have got Huey as well. Yeah, I agree. Oh, as in, okay, yeah, if, if Huey wasn't there. Back up! So I was going, oh, okay, it's this guy. Who are, what the fuck, what the heck are we supposed to do? <laughs> uh, what the frig are we supposed to do, dude? Let her go. Out of my way, kid. You're gonna be okay. Do you promise? I promise. Go on, sell it. Sell the push. Who are you? My name is... Ryan. Oh my god, he showed up. It's okay, son. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, We're too, did he? America <laughs> together. <laughs> you just have to get involved, get a couple of lines in there. <laughs> Damn! Yeah. Wow. It's okay, everyone. <laughs> Jesus. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I knew that was gonna happen. I kept talking about the push. That would work in the guys today. I just feel like I'm not getting clear direction for this role. <laughs> that is fair, mate.
And no one's gonna check outside, make sure no one comes in or anything though. Uh, she's out of it. She said 9 p.m. in a deep blue sea room. Huh? I uh, sure did. Oh. Well, there you go. Go right. One guard is all you needed. Did all three of you need to do that? These assholes are CIA. Genuine deep state moles. They've taken out more superheroes than anyone in the world. Would, would Butcher have fallen for this? Consider it your final audition. I mean, can we go all record? The sooner they're dead, all of you. The sooner you'll find out. You're not as impressive as I heard. Kamiko can kill you all in about three seconds. Oh, I'm gonna send your ass back to China, bitch. Uh, She's what? Japanese. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm being good. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. It's allergies. It's allergies. Achoo. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, mate. Uh, you lost foolish, aren't you? Like, what was that? Dead, dead, right. She, yeah. I guess it didn't even need to have to just be Kamiko solo in it. What the hell? Which is the real him? Hell no. Just pop them all out, done. They haven't got any powers. I mean, splitting yourself up kind of is, but. Could just shoot them and they're dead, no? What's going on here? Or now? Miss Rachel? Miss Marvelous Miss Rachel. <laughs> Marvelous Miss Maisel spin off, I guess. Is Marvelous Miss Maisel an Amazon show? Oh, Jesus. Literally, just shoot him in the head. It's... They can't even aim right. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I forget MM and Frenchie can just be shot and killed. Like they have no powers. <laughs> he gave himself pink eye from his own arsehole. What the fuck? Oh. How long does it take for it to come back? Are being attacked by CIA agents after infiltrating a Zionist cabal. Want a channel get taken down for nudity? I'm calling on all the fools. No! No! No wonder she puts you in a friend zone, mate. <laughs> oh. Damn. <laughs> I'm going to see a dead guy's chopped off or something. Get the boys out of here! Literally, why did they hesitate helping him? They still love him, though. Okay, we're good. As long as it's the face, not the dick. Hopefully, well, say hopefully. If this guy was smart, he wouldn't have gone in himself. It would have just been all his clones. I'm not primed, no! We loved you. Oh, does that mean they're all... So he did. Holocaust hoax video. Okay. You know, you've... He went in there himself and he just sent his clones in. He was... <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Who wants a creamy, delicious milkshake? Hmm? Well, when you put it like that, Homelander. I killed a boy. That's what you're upset about? <laughs> How confusing. It's his first kill, isn't it? No. He... Did he kill his mom? Okay. Yeah. I can't remember that scene too well. Accidents happen all the time. I think it's his, his second kill. Koi died doing what he loved. Okay? <laughs> You're chosen, young man. Sooner or later, you gotta accept it. Good pep talk. Ah, <laughs> uh, got him. I'm gonna let a shit bag like A Train step up, but I won't. Fast. Oh my god, she did the same thing she always does. <laughs> I do love Starlight though. <laughs> Oh, uh... You look like shit. Boring character. Well, are you? Plausible deniability, Pumpkin. We just seen him day after day, one thing led to another and... So what happens when he finds out you murdered his family? Oh. Probably should have told him that before, no? So that's who that is. Your promise isn't worth the piece of paper it's printed on! <laughs> We're back to that. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't understand. <laughs> 40 minutes later. When was the last day I ever saw you? I spent a week 
standing by the front door telling dad you'd be back only a week it's not bad but your promise didn't mean anything Oof. I'm he's so going with that one hasn't he this is about what's best for your dad you don't know what's best for him you don't know what's best for either of us from now on you don't talk to the doctor without me you don't make any medical decisions without me signing off well, if you're not here <laughs> what do you expect it's <laughs> no offense I was going to go after the captors. The right move to make was to nab that cunt Sage. Instead, you walk the boys into a trap. And then risk their lives to save Yeah, that could have been bad. going to be dead in six months. We was lucky. But next time, someone's going to die. Someone's definitely dead. Surely some, one of the main crew... Dies this season, I reckon. Might actually be Emma. He could be the one. I think if Bush is going to die, it'll be in the final season. I don't think Huey dies. I think Kamiko would be fine. So it'd be between Emma and Frenchie, I reckon. Alright, there we go, guys. That is episode two of The Boys, season four. Um, Pretty good episode. Not as strong is that, wow, this has 65% on track. That's so low. I mean, it's gotten up to 67 now. I've just refreshed it, but that is pretty low, considering how many... Out of 50 votes, so it's not that many. What's everyone saying? 100% a skippable filler episode. If you skip Huey and Huey's mom, Colin slash Frenchie, and Kamiko slash therapist, uh, and their useless fillers, and the out-of-place, out-of-touch, meaningless fight scenes... You're left with 10 minutes of showtime. I know that because I just did that. I mean, you can literally skip this episode entirely and you won't have missed anything. I went through the episode again and can't find any scene which I could have said, yeah, this part is important to the story. Nothing. It is just pure filler. Another person who I don't think actually understands what filler actually means. <sighs> So Kamiko going to the convention and seeing the poster that gave her Vietnam flashbacks, which is basically going to be her journey for the rest of the season, I assume. That was filler. Didn't need that. Firecracker as an actual character and getting more of a filler. Same as same with Sage. Um, I do agree with the Huey stuff so far I'm not invested in. I won't say it's filler because it's, <laughs> you know, his mum's still in it and is, is adding to Huey's character, but... I just wouldn't say I'm interested in it, but I would not say it's filler at all. Starlight's not filler. Uh, Butcher and Homeland are on filler. Yeah, there's nothing about this episode that was filler. I think, like... I don't know, whatever. That, that review got zero likes, so I don't think anyone agrees. But, uh, yeah, I would agree it was, like, not the best episode or anything, but I still think it was 67% and some... Com well, one comment saying it's filler and then another saying it wasn't that great or whatever, but... I don't know, I felt like maybe I'm missing something, but the only weak parts for me is Frenchie. I just, I don't care about this Colin thing, I'll be honest. Like, I don't care about this, I killed his family, now I'm sleeping with him, and you're contacting Sherry, who's been one of the most boring characters since she was introduced into the show. Uh, Frenchie, for me, was really good in seasons one and two. Season three, Frenchie was way less interesting, and here so far we just seem to be continuing that, where it just feels like... Again, I would not say a filler storyline. I wouldn't go that far. It depends how far it goes with it. But it's definitely the weakest part of the season so far is French's story. But I just, I, I don't know. I can't. I'll try to get invested because this is obviously going to be quite a big part of his character this season. But so far, I don't know. Like Sherry and Colin just are not interesting characters to me at all. <laughs> um, I, I just want Frenchie and Kamiko's bond. That's what I like about French's character. Uh, but Kamiko's off going to go do her thing now. So. Uh, yeah, MM was really good. Some really funny scenes in there as well, but that's, I guess, nothing to do with the boys. Yeah, again, I won't say it was an amazing episode. I won't say this was as strong as the first one, but definitely not a filler episode. I won't say it was a bad episode. I'd, I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. I think it was a good episode overall. Uh, so, yeah, we have one more episode that we have, which I might watch tonight as well. I might have a little bit of a break and then watch that episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. And I'll see you next time for episode three. Until then, take care. Peace.